Hi, this is Dan Watkins from Shoreflight Aircraft Completions with a quick update on our Bell 407 completion. In our last video, I mentioned that Shoreflight removed several components for the aft firewall reinforcements required for the air conditioner compressor install. The previously removed components have been reinstalled and the air conditioner compressor is now in place. Most of the air conditioning system is complete. Shown here is the installation of the forward evaporator. The Artex 406 ELT housing is now installed in the tail boom. The float kit install is started. Seen here is the handle to inflate the skid mounted floats in case of an emergency water landing. The paint scheme has not been set yet. We're still mulling over various designs. We have, however, started work on the interior. So for the initial fit out, we'll strip all the foam off the existing seats down to the structure, which is this cloth material. And then we install the panels inside the aircraft to gap check the foam against the panel. Then we start off by building layer by layer of foam. So in this case, this is the first step. And then we take it and we add the Velcro and the center insert and the front lumbar. After this point, we will then build up the side bolsters and upholster the back or foam the backrest as well. If you are interested in the completion of this Bell 407, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will be posting videos as different modifications are being made. They will be released in the future.